This is how you make a grid-based movement system. So first off, we're gonna start off with a tile map that just has green all over. We're gonna have a body, uh, character body 2D from Godot 4. We're gonna have a little sprite that represents our character and a collision shape. Let's go into the script, which is gonna have nothing in it. The first thing we're gonna do is emulate our grid by using an array. And this array is going to also emulate our um, position. So we're just gonna call it current position equals array zero and zero. This is going to be our X and Y. And to move, we're going to have a function called input. This is going to allow us to check for any sort of input that we uh, put into the game. We're gonna say if event dot is action, ooh, event, there we go, is action pressed. Um, we can check for UI, right and then if we go right what we can do is we can say current zero so which is going to be the x position we're going to say plus equals any sort of position that we want so let's say i want to move my grid by 32. Um, this will allow us to move 32 bits to the right um, if you want it less or lower you can change that uh, a lot of the times people move by sets of eight uh, if you go into our game you can see that this grid is snapped by eight by eight uh, little grids here so this isn't this does not correlate to the exact same thing but it is close enough to give us a good reference all right so um, first of all, we have to make sure this is right. And next up, we're going to do, what we're gonna do is update our position in the end. So what we can say is self.position, or just position, equals vector to current position, zero and current position one. So this is, allows us to update our position depending on what we do, right? So now what we can do is now also check for the rest of those. But before we do that, what we can also do is change the sprite depending on uh, where we want to look. So to do that, what we can do is say uh, get character uh, uh, get character blue, which is our sprite, and look at the position plus the vector uh, one and zero. This will allow us to look to the right. Now what we can do is just do the exact same thing for all other four sides, and it'll look like this. So we have left minus, uh, ooh, we have to update all these. Let me just do that real quick. Replace all, nope, let's replace, nope, I'm just gonna copy it. There we go. All right, and so current one, for the Y position, we're gonna do current one, but we're gonna go up by subtracting and down, we're gonna add. And now when we play, our grid-based movement should look like this. So when I move, it'll kind of pop into the next position. And when I move left, it'll look up and et cetera. Awesome. That's how we do a grid-based system in three minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys liked it, would like to see more of this content, definitely subscribe down below. Um, I have some Discord. I would love if you guys joined. Uh, we have we are currently building our community, which is awesome. I would love if, if you guys came in and showed your projects around. That'd be cool. Uh, if not, that's okay. Um, I also have a Patreon that you can check out. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, I also have a Twitch. Um, I try to stream on there regularly. So definitely check that out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.